Blessings, guys. It's High Priestess Jamila. Hello. So we are one day from the new moon. And I wanted to come and talk to you guys briefly about our refueling, recharging for the next four months. Now, this is the retrograde calendar, okay? Uh, Mercury's retrograde just ended on the 2nd of January, okay? So the good news is that right now what we are doing is refueling, recharging, realigning, and we are rebuilding the next four to five months up until uh, May the 2nd, okay? So this is going to be very important, okay? Uh, things are going to look up. Things are going to get better. Um, each of us are going to have our own individual thing going on, okay? It's going to defer from person to person, depending on the retrograde planets when you were born, depending on where you're at, depending on your experiences, depending on, you know, how you grew up, depending on, you know, what kind of family support that you had. Um, I believe that right now uh, it is going to be very important to try to stay focused on cleansing, clearing, healing, okay? Um, now, the first planet that's going to go into retrograde in 2024 is Pluto, okay? This is going to happen on May the 2nd in Aquarius. Pluto, um, what I gather from Pluto is that when Pluto goes into retrograde, this is when things can become very stagnated, very stagnant. Energies can kick in. Um, less energies of transformation. So this is when we're going to want to possibly call to like, um, you know, Kali Ma, um, other goddesses of trans uh, transformation um, around this time, uh, for maybe some assistance. Um, but definitely working on it now, I believe will help avoid this so that things will flow pretty naturally. Now, Chiron is not going to go into retrograde until July. So it's very important for us to focus on healing. OK, especially if your Chiron was in retrograde when you were born um, and you, you know, didn't get enough possibly from your mother, depending on what her experiences was during her pregnancy with you. OK, her diet, what she ate, what she focused on, what she was going through with your father, her family, things of that nature. Um, cause a lot of those things are very unnatural. Okay. Um, so we're not going to focus on the other ones yet. I mean, as you guys can see, uh, Neptune going into retrograde on July can possibly cause you to feel a little disconnected as far as like from spirit. And then it kind of pretty much goes downhill from there. The good news is that Venus is not going to go into retrograde in 2024 at all, uh, which is really going to help a lot of people establish stability in either their lives within themselves, self-love and healing, and then even in finding relationships or either possibly healing relationships, okay, or healing from relationships. So um, if you guys have any questions, uh, you know how to reach me. You guys can actually get a full analysis by scheduling a reading. It's very important to stay focused during this reading. Uh, it, it really depends on where you are at in your healing 
It really does because some of my clients are more so focused on revisiting the past, revisiting maybe past life influences or maybe either um, experiences that could have caused trauma. And so that is where I'm going to re- that is where I'm going to recommend cleansing as well as healing, recharging and refueling for the next four months. That is what it's all going to be about. OK, we're going to be prepared for Pluto going into retrograde uh, by connecting with those energies and pulling them into us. And then that way we will not feel the need for any kind of codependency, uh, dealing with any kind of codependent energies of need. Because part of the reason why people uh, don't have financial freedom, do have struggles, is because of their needs. And then when people need something, that's when they start to feed off of others, okay? Okay. All right, guys, so if you need more explanation on that, uh, feel free to visit my website, divineservicesapothecary.com. Blessings. Bye.